Proverbs 11:14. Where no counsel is, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors there is safety. Standard test method for slump of hydraulic cement concrete. Reference, ASTM C143-C143M20. Significance and use. This test method is intended to provide the user with a procedure to determine slump of plastic hydraulic cement concretes. This test method was originally developed to monitor the consistency of unhardened concrete. Apparatus. A mold. The mold shall be sufficiently rigid and non-absorbent made of metal or plastic not readily attacked by the cement paste. Metal molds shall have an average thickness of not less than 1.5 mm with no individual thickness of 1.15 mm. Plastic molds shall have an average minimum wall thickness of 3 mm with no individual thickness measurement of less than 2.5 mm. The mold shall be in the form of the lateral surface of the frustum of cone with base 8 inches 200 mm in diameter the top 4 inches 100 mm in diameter, and the height 12 inches 300 mm. Individual diameters and heights shall be within plus or minus 1 8 inch, plus or minus 3 mm. B Tamping Rod A round, smooth, straight steel rod with 16 mm plus or minus 2 mm diameter with length at least 100 mm greater than the depth of the mold which rotting is being performed, but not greater than 600 mm. The rod shall have the tamping end or both ends rounded to a hemispherical tip of the same diameter as the rod. See measuring device. A ruler, metal roll-up measuring tape, or similar rigid or semi-rigid length measuring instrument marked in increments of 5 mm or smaller. The instrument length shall be at least 12 inches 300 mm. D-scoop. Sample. The sample of concrete from which test specimens are made shall be representative of the entire batch. It shall be obtained in accordance with practice C172-C172M. Procedure 1. Dampen the mold and place it on a rigid, flat, level, moist, non-absorbent surface, free of vibration, and large enough to contain all the slumped concrete. Fill the mold in three layers, each approximately one-third volume of the mold. Note, one-third of the volume of the slump mold fills to a depth of 2 and 5 eighths inch 70 millimeters, two-thirds of a volume fills it to a depth of 6 and 1 eighth inch 160 millimeters. Two. Rod each layer 25 times uniformly over the cross section with the rounded end of the rod. For the bottom layer, this will necessitate inclining the rod slightly and making approximately half of the strokes near the perimeter, and then progressing with vertical strokes spirally toward the center. Rod the bottom layer throughout its depth. For each upper layer, allow the rod to penetrate through the layer being rotted and into the layer below approximately 25 millimeters. 3. In filling and rotting the top, heat the concrete above the mold before rotting is started. If the rotting operation results in subsidence of the concrete below the top edge of the mold, add additional concrete to keep an excess of concrete above the top of the mold at all times. After the top layer has been rotted, strike off the surface of concrete by means of screeding and rolling motion of the tamping rod. Continue to hold the mold down firmly and remove concrete from the area surrounding the base of the mold. Raise the mold in 5 plus or minus 2 seconds by a steady lift with no lateral or torsional motion. Complete the entire test from the start of filing through removal of the mold within an elapsed time of 2 and a half minutes. Four. Measure the slump by determining the vertical difference between the top of the mold and the displaced original center of the top surface of the specimen. 
If a decided falling away or shearing off of concrete from one side or portion of the mass occurs, disregard the test and make a new test on another portion of the sample. Report. Report the slump in terms of inches, millimeters, to the nearest one-fourth inch or five millimeters. Special thanks to Curso and their staff who performed the test on the video. The video was taken during a trial mix for the Philippine National Railway Project. If you find this video helpful and informative, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to be notified on next uploads. Thank you and God bless.